Yes, guys, today we're going to be talking about Hair Club. What exactly is Hair Club? What do they offer? We're going to be looking at some reviews and we're going to be discussing reasons, or I'm going to be discussing reasons, why I don't rate them. So make sure you stay tuned. <music> So Hair Club, in fact before we get into Hair Club, if you haven't subscribed to my content yet, please do if you're enjoying it, if you're new around here, whack that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and I'm going to try and get, I'm going to be really ambitious and try and get 50 likes from this video. So if you could please help me get to that magical 5-0, I will be forever grateful. So Hair Club, what exactly is Hair Club? Well I'd never heard of it. When I first came across hair systems and I started wearing them, I had never heard of Hair Club. However, as I've developed my knowledge and understanding of the hair system, toupee and wig landscape, the name Hair Club just keeps popping up on Facebook, in my comments, on Reddit, all of these kind of social media channels. So I wanted to do a bit of investigating, find out exactly what they do, basically whether they're good value for money and sort of look at various different reviews. So Hair Club was actually founded in the 1970s. Isn't that mad? It's been around for like 50 years. And that's probably why a lot of people, especially my American friends watching this, are very familiar or have at least heard of Hair Club. Now, it seems to focus solely on offering hair loss solutions. And that's not limited to just hair systems or toupees. It also, they also offer SMP, so scalp micropigmentation basically tattoos on your scalp. They seem to offer hair transplant solutions and it seems to utilize this sort of subscription-based model. That's how basically they make their money. You go in, if you do get a hair system, you go in for monthly appointments and you get it like a regroom as they call. So you have the hair system taken off, you have it cleaned and you have it put on by an expert and you can select a subscription where you get six systems a year, four systems a year, three systems a year. I think even they go as low as two. We're going to be looking at a review in a bit of someone who actually went for, I think it was the four or five a year plan. And we're going to look at pricing and that kind of thing. Now, when I was doing my research on this company, I saw a lot of comments about people saying, oh, yeah, they used to have ads in like the 70s and the 80s. If anyone can direct me to one of these ads, please let me know in the comments box. But I really want to watch it because I want to know what hair systems and wigs used to look like in the 1970s. I reckon they have nothing on what they look like now. But I'd just be interested just out of pure curiosity and maybe for a little bit of a giggle. Now this is what their website looks like and you can see there's a bit of an old geezer on the front with a hair system, you would imagine. And it says you get a free consultation if you, that is fairly common for these kind of clinics and studios and that kind of thing. But the question that I imagine a lot of you are asking right now are what are the costs involved, especially given that you need to go in once a month for regrooms and, you know, subscription based. So let's have a look at a couple of the reviews. And by the way, this isn't me digging out Hair Club. This is just my opinion on the research that I've done and the reviews that I've seen. So this gentleman is basically, he'd been with Hair Club for one year. So, you know, at this point, one year, that's a fairly good time frame to make a fairly decent assessment of what they offer and, and so on and so forth. So he mentions here that he didn't need to be sold a hair system. He already decided that that's what he was going to do. Now, he mentions here that there is a contract. Now, I did mention that it was subscription based. So you effectively, you would imagine you'd pay a monthly fee. That's not how it works, guys. It looks like, according to this gentleman, that you have to pay the money up front for a whole year. So the contract was for 3000 so effectively almost $4,000. So it's about £3,000 British sterling. That's a lot of money for a year. You get four new systems a year. So each system would have to last you, on average, three months. And if it doesn't, then you'd probably have to change your subscription. Because if you're getting through more than four in a year... Otherwise, you're going, to end, you're going to end up with a really terrible system for maybe one out of those three months, or you're just going to need to pay more and get a more expensive subscription. So there's actually a visit every six weeks to reinstall and trim your bio hair. Now, 
for me, six weeks is far too long to be relying on glue and tape to keep the system on your head. Add to that, you've got natural hair growing under it. Now, after about two weeks, two weeks is about the maximum that I can manage with a hair system on my head before I need to take it off because it's getting itchy because you've got hair growing underneath it. Six weeks is a really long time. That's like a long time to have a very itchy head and not know what to do with it. So he talks about in the second paragraph, the negotiation. I did visit with another competing salon and they were more expensive than hair club. You know, in a funny way, it doesn't surprise me. These clinics, they charge through the roof. And I'm gonna look at the comments in a bit because I saw a comment when I was doing my research on this, which really sums it up perfectly. And they did every four weeks, so I'd prefer four over six, to be honest. So I didn't have to worry about color matching, percentage of gray, template size, which glue. Obviously this is classic clinic practice. They will do that for you. They will measure the grays. They will color match it for you. It makes it a lot more convenient for you, but at the same time, you're a lot more out of pocket. So to give you an example of how much you'd save if you basically ordered the systems yourself and did your own maintenance. So I would say I probably spend in dollar terms, probably about $1,500 a year. And that includes systems, it includes accessories, I call them, which is like glues, tapes, alcohol, C22, solvent remover, all of those kind of thing, brushes, shampoos, and that kind of thing. About $1,500. This guy got quoted $4,000, $4,000, eye-watering. That's almost three times what I pay a year. And I probably get systems from exactly the same factory. And how long does it take me to order one online? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, guys. 10 minutes. The second year, honestly, their contracts were confusing AF. I will not swear because YouTube will penalize me otherwise. As you make decisions on a fixed percentage of systems a year and how often your visits are, which are levels. Don't know what he means by that. The basic is, oh, okay, so this is the subscription. Basic is three systems a year. Bronze is, yep, so you can see gold is six, so you get effectively six systems a year with the anticipation that they will last two months each. That cost was $433 per month. I did the maths earlier on this. It came to over $5,000 a year. $5,000 a year for six systems every 12 months. I mean, you do the math. That's that's $25,000 in five years. It's an extraordinary amount of money, which you don't need to spend if you're just willing to spend 10 minutes on a website ordering it yourself and basically doing your own maintenance, which... By the way, guys, isn't hard, and I'm going to share a video at the end with you guys for those of you who stick around till the end, giving you some tips on how to do that in the easiest way possible. So, this gentleman's been with them 23 years. He's probably spent a heck of a lot of money in those 23 years. He's on the gold plan, which is six. This gentleman here has made a really, really apt comment, which just is so true. I was just nodding my head when I read this. You pay to offload the anxieties and pressures of doing it yourself. The haircut and initial install is probably the most important, including the color match, density, and the haircut itself. We live in a bubble in this forum. Most guys really want someone else to take care of this for them, at least initially. I think if I'm looking at my subscriber base, and my channel is all about trying to save you guys as much money as possible, most people, I'd probably say about 60 to 70%, go to either a clinic or a stylist for the first two installs, and then they start doing it themselves. But with a clinic like Hair Club, you never have to worry about maintenance. You don't have to do it yourself. They will do it all for you every four weeks or six weeks, but you have to pay a lot of money for that privilege. A lot of money. Now, guys, if money is not a problem for you, if it's not an issue for you, and you don't want the hassle of doing the maintenance, go for it. But a lot of my subscribers and people who watch this video are actually, they're not rolling in it. And the reason they've come to my channel is because they want to save money and they don't want to spend money. They don't want to get ripped off basically. And they want to be cost effective with their hair systems. I think regardless if it's in your budget or not, it's a necessary splurge to do it right initially. You can cut corners later on but don't skimp out on that initial first look, which is very true. It can look a bit poofy and fluffy at the, uh, at the top of it. Now, the problem is, 
if you did want to do hair club initially you would have to pay a whole year's worth up front guys it's not necessary to do that it's never necessary to do that you can find other places that will get you fitted in get you sorted out and they'll probably only charge for the initial hair system and they'll probably charge ad hoc to effectively do a regroom for you every month or every six weeks and you can do that as long as you feel anxious about starting to do it yourself you know when i did it i just dived straight in and watched youtube videos and taught myself but i totally understand that a lot of guys they want at least sort of two to three experiences in the salon where they're getting it cut in so they can see how it's done before they take the leap because it is it, it feels like a big leap in the early stages it really does because you're kind of learning something on the job but i really don't think anything after two or three in-person visits is necessary it's really quite easy when you know how you can check out my videos my tutorials playlist and it basically teaches you everything you need in terms of maintaining a hair system so the reasons i don't rate hair club in summary are number one i am not a fan of this 12 month upfront cost or basically you have to pay a year's worth at a time like who, who's got that much cash just sitting around you know maybe some people do i certainly don't so to me that doesn't make sense especially if you don't get on with hair systems, then, you know, you've pissed away like three and a half, four thousand dollars $4,000 straight away, and you're not going to get any of that back. Now, the second reason I don't rate them is because you do not need to go in for a regroom every six weeks to four weeks. Like, firstly, it's unhygienic to have a system on for that long. It'll get really smelly, and the bond will probably loosen, and you won't know what to do when you get a lift around your hair system, and you'll be panicking. No one wants that. You need to teach you yourself to be able to do this. So I don't rate that four to six weeks every... So I don't rate, you know, them making you come in every four to six weeks to get it redone. After a couple of times, you can do it yourself and save so much money. The third reason I don't rate Hair Club is because you don't really get to choose what base you're going to wear. Like, it seems as if they are going to choose it for you based on the plan that you effectively pay for. So if you're getting one every two months, you're probably going to get an ultra thin skin. If you get one every six months, it might be a monofilament. Who knows? And the fourth reason is just think about how much are you paying for those hair systems? You could get hair systems from very likely the same factory for about a tenth of the price or a fifth of the price. So... Think about it in those terms, guys. You could literally just go online and order it yourself in 10 minutes, or you can get them to do it, but pay like five times more. But as I said, guys, look, it's always up to you. It depends on your budget. It depends on how committed you are to doing it yourself or not doing it yourself. Do you just not have the time to do it yourself? Do you just Are you just terrified of the idea of doing it yourself? But you know, it's just my opinion based on the reviews that I've read and I just don't think it's in people's best interests to basically go there. But as I said, it's up to you guys. It has to be what works for you. Now, have any of you been on the Hair Club subscription base before? Have you heard of Hair Club or have you not even heard of Hair Club? Let me know in the comments box below. If you're interested in getting a hair system and saving a lot more money than these guys are going to charge you, I wear the Vivid Hair Systems. The one I'm wearing right now is an ultra thin skin. It's going to pop up at the top of the screen right now so you can order one yourself and don't forget that 15% discount Adam15 in their coupon code box. Now, thanks for tuning into this video, guys. Up on the screen right now, a playlist is popping up where I've made a series of videos where I've reviewed a number of different hair system vendors. So you might want to check that out. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.